three weeks ago or four weeks ago the last time I looked at this project. Um, no, I don't have too much time on my hands. I don't have enough time and they don't pay me enough. Or actually they pay me enough. Well, no, I didn't say that. They don't pay me enough either, but they don't give me enough fun stuff to work on, which means they really don't pay me enough. Um, so the trick to these things, the sensor, the trigger just triggers, and then it all goes to the controller over here. So the sensor senses that the drops come through, it comes over here and hits the controller, which is software, runs but the software sets it up and says how long to wait before the flash flashes. So when, when I arm the system, when I come over here and click arm, it's come out here and it's told this guy to go into the absolute fastest mode that it can record. But what it but what happens is this trigger, when this light gets broken, the trigger unit back there sends two pulses out here. The first pulse sets this thing up into a super long integration mode, and the second pulse says, okay, now we start all this fun timing things. And when the timing is correct, it comes out here and sends a signal to this flash to fire. Now, to be able to stop this drop of water midstream like this, it doesn't have to be a particularly flat, fast flash. Um, one, you know, millisecond type flashes that you see on a, uh, a regular camera are more than good enough. Uh, uh, some research I've done tells me that, uh, that the, uh, the flash speed of your average El Cheapo camera is, uh, about one to one and a half milliseconds. Uh, a really fast digital camera that you could, uh, like pocket camera, my uh, Canon uh, PowerShot SD550, it has a uh, a, a shutter, uh, a flash speed that's 100 microseconds. So uh, think about the how fast a uh, a bullet flies. A bullet flies, um, call it 3,000 feet per second for a really fast bullet. A, uh, so 3,500 feet in, in a second means that it goes about a centimeter, uh, a tenth of a centimeter. So about about that far for an AR-15 bullet in a microsecond. So the trick with this flash is I've gone through and I've reverse engineered a few flashes from different cameras to see how they work. Read up on on flash theory and uh, come back I've measured the flash time of this guy at 10 microseconds. So this should be enough to stop a bullet. Um, I've created another sensor that is a uh, not an optical sensor, but a sonic sensor. So it can listen for things happening. And uh, the next thing I'm gonna try and do is to go out and see if I really can stop a bullet with this thing or not. Well, I, you know, I'm not gonna hold, I am holding my hopes up. I've been putting a lot of work into this. Um, so we'll hope that it, we can do that because that'll be some really nifty photography going on. Also, um, this is, I've, some people have heard me call this phase 1A. Like I said, I didn't have the uh, wherewithal to go through and build a really high-speed camera, so uh, or one that can actually take pictures. There's two ways that we can do this. We can synchronize flash photography, which is what I'm doing here, or you can screw in a ton of light bulbs and take really short frame times. Think about uh, your old film cameras. If you uh, had thousand-speed film in it, you could take a fast picture. Or if you had 100 speed film in it, you could take a picture on a bright sunny day. Well, that's the kind of thing we're looking at. We screw in a bunch of light bulbs and use 1,000 speed film and get really short sh shutter times. Uh, that's the next project. I expect it'll probably take another few years. Uh, but I have some of the equipment downstairs, uh, different kinds of image sensors that I think can actually run that fast. And so it will be a, uh, a learning It'll be a, a, a school for me to figure out how to make it all work. Uh, the timing I've got down, I figured out how to do that with this one. Uh, pulling the data back into the computer and generating the pictures on the screen, I can do that 
sort of. Uh, this does have some bugs that I, I don't know what they're what's causing them. Uh, so the last thing is a really fast sensor and learning to use FPGAs and uh, memory so that I can store several frames of high-speed video all at once and take it fast. So, you guys who wanted to know what secret projects were, this is them. And uh, I'm going to do the same thing I'm doing here uh, with the drops of water in a few weeks with a... Uh, with a rifle and see if we can stop some shots. So that'll be the next part of this project. So that'll be phase 1A, B, I guess, and this is phase 1A, A. All right, uh, this is me and for some fun with dumb and fun with guns. Well, I guess I don't have to say the fun with guns. Darn, just fun with dumb. Um, something dumb to do. Bye.